What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. So good to have you in the studio. This morning we have a completely full kiln and I actually can't even remember like anything that's in there. Probably mugs, probably little planters. But uh, yeah, we're not, I'm not making anything new in this studio anymore. I think we're done throwing. So all we have left is a bunch of pots. Here, I'll show you right here. So basically we have all this stuff that we can still glaze uh, and finish up because I'm not going to take a bunch of bisque to the new kiln, the new studio. So basically now we're thinking about cleaning out the studio and getting to the new one. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. We, uh, we went to Omaha. We drove from Minneapolis to Omaha. So shout out Omaha, Nebraska. Went to a couple sweet coffee shops. We saw my brother-in-law graduate from Creighton Medical School. So that was pretty sweet. Five and a half hours in the car with a two-year-old. Actually went super well. Ryder did super, super well. So here's a little montage of our weekend trip. that little little uh, vlog Omaha trip in super fast mode. All right, let's open this kiln, see what we got. See what we got. All right, let's do it. All right, at the top we have, these are a bunch of little planters. So remember that one video when I threw with my, my when I threw with one hand, just in glazing all these little things. So these are gonna be like little succulent planters or pots or something. Could be cups, could be whatever. They don't have holes in the bottom of them. Tell me, are, if you're a plant person, are you a plant person? Comment below, do you always have to put a hole in the bottom of every planter? Is that necessary? Because I didn't in these, and I want them to be planters. All right, here's some more. Basically, I'm just using these as testing, using it, lots of carving stuff. This is pretty sweet looking. Just barely drip, 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 drip down to the bottom onto my little coaster. But I'll take that off, not so bad. That's a pretty, pretty nice twisted vase. This was one of the pots that I threw at Ensika. Blue mugs, which will, this glaze, I don't have a name for it yet, but it will soon be named by those that supported the Kickstarter. Ooh, those are, that's cool. That's a really cool one. Look at that drip down. Okay, so right here, see this drip? So I put my little JTP thing. So there's this little thing and I'm worried that if I take it off, it's gonna bust that thing. But I have to do it. Oh, got it. Well, it drips down below, so I'm gonna have to grind that off anyway, but at least it didn't take a chunk off the mug. All right, here's some, we're restocking. Restocking our Minnesota mugs, finally, after not, not really doing many for a while. It's turned out pretty good, pretty good. And then this last one was a twisted, another twisted vase that I threw at Ensika. That was, that was something. When I, to get all the pots that I threw at Ensika out of the convention center, that was an adventure for sure. Holy Hannah. Okay, so this was a tester that I threw. Like this is a, a lot of what this is gonna be for the next week or however many, how many, maybe I have like one, two more kilns left, um, is like random, super random stuff. So this was like kind of a beer stein mug that I threw with the marbled clay. And then I tried that, a new glaze on top of there. New glaze, which shall be revealed. What do you think? What do you think of that one? Pretty cool. Probably keep that in my freezer and drink beer out of it. Cause I am way over 21. Here's just a couple Minnesota cups. Minnesota cups that I'll just sell at Mocha Monkey. No handles. Who watched Game of Thrones season finale last night? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, I actually kind of liked it. I hear there's a lot of people that are super unhappy with Game of Thrones this season, but I have to say I'm a fan. What did you think? Comment below. All right, some more. Okay, so little fun fact about these Minnesota mugs. These trees, anyway. So before, I would always 
use my black glaze to put inside the trees there, right? I dip it, scratch it off so that some of the black stayed in the trees. Well, I got a black underglaze. Why did I get a black underglaze? I can't remember why. But I got a black Amico underglaze because I wanted it, because I wanted it. And I started putting that in here, but I actually think that I like the Cone Sticks Black Glaze better because it's a little shinier. This is, um, it's more matte, and I just don't think it looks as good. I don't know. I don't know, what do you think? Can you tell the difference? All right guys, there's something else in here that's very exciting after these mugs. So this, nice, 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 nice. All right, are you ready for this one? This one is super exciting. Wow. Look at that. Woo, look at that thing. Look at how that just drips in there and all the depth in there and the outside. Wow. That turned out super cool. I wish I would have taken a picture of what this looked like before because it was wild. So cool. All right, last thing we got is a few more planters. And I got this idea from somebody on the YouTube channel. Somebody was like, hey, I don't glaze the inside of planters because then like the water can kind of like absorb into it or well, it actually shouldn't absorb because it should be vitrified, but they just said it, you don't need to. And I was like, yeah, you probably don't need to. So these four don't actually have any glaze on the inside. So we'll uh, probably put some succulents in there. You know, you know? All right, and then the last thing in here, bowls. Oh gosh. So there you go, there's the inside and the outside. So I took my carving tool and carved those, which I think is kind of cool because then when it, whenever it drips, it just drips right into there. So there's like six of these, or maybe seven. All right, friends, that is it. That is it for this kiln. What do you think? What was your favorite thing out of this kiln today? Tell me, comment below. What do you think of this giant sweet bowl? I have to put it right next to my face because the camera just focuses on my face and I want it to focus on the bowl, so. Anyway, hope you're having a great day. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment, all those things. Check out our Patreon page, check out the Instagram, all those things. Go on an adventure. We'll see you in the next video.